Happy Friday morning, everybody. So, uh, I kept dreaming. Do you ever do this where you have these dreams? And years ago, I kept having this dream that I was back at my dad's old racetrack, Lake Hill Speedway in Valley Park, Missouri. And these dreams would go on and on and on and just... So one day I went over to uh, Valley Park, Missouri and went to Lake Hill Speedway and my dreams quit. I just revisited my childhood area, you know, where, where Kenny Schrader used to race, my brother Rusty, my brother Mike, my dad, you know, my mom ran powder puffs, my uncle Gary. So anyway, fast forward, right? Fast forward some 40 years and, um, I'm dreaming that I am running one more, one more Xfinity race. Some of you call it the Bush Series. I have a debate with that, so respond right here, okay? It's kind of like uh, the Cup Series, uh, the Winston Series, the Monster Energy Drink Series. It's the same series with a different sponsor. So the Bush Series and the nationwide series and the Xfinity series, it's the same series, but they got a new sponsor. So anyway, when I ran the Bush series and I ran the nationwide series and I ran the Xfinity series, <laughs> that's a smart ass comment. So anyway, I just kept dreaming here lately that I am running, I gotta run one more race. But now my last race was in 2015 up in Iowa. I drove the Joe Gibbs number 20, uh, US cellular car, everything went good. So anyway, I keep dreaming that I'm gonna run one race. So I call Dale Earnhardt Jr. up. And um, we have a great relationship. We're good friends. A am I name dropping? Respond right here. Is Kenny Wallace name dropping or is he telling the truth? Wallace, you talked to Dale Jr., did you, huh? <laughs> well, we really do. So we really are friends. He texts me, I text him. That's the way our, our friendship is. Our friendship started years ago when he was a kid. Um, he'll tell you all about it. So anyway, I called Dale Jr. I said, man, you got to let me run one of your Bush Grand National cars at Richmond. That's my, that's my jam. You know, three wins there. Um, and he said, no, he said, it's, it's too expensive. It's too difficult to put together. What you need to do to get this out of your system is you need to run my cars tour series. I said, really? I said, I've been reading a little bit about that. So Dale Earnhardt Jr., Jeff Burton, Kevin Harvick, Justin Marks, they bought the cars tour series and they're saving this series down there, and uh, they've got it jacked up on Mountain Dew. It's doing really good. So, okay, let's do it. So Dale Jr. puts it together uh, with Marcus Richmond, uh, wonderful chassis building business right down there in South Boston, Virginia. So we go, let's go to Tri-County. So, man, I make a big deal out of it. I'm ready to go. I go to Tri-County. I pull up in my rental car so because I fly to Charlotte. Get a rental car and I drive up to Tri-County. It's up there by Hickory. And uh, I'm parked there and I'm waiting for the hauler to come in. And I look down, Dale Jr.'s calling me. He says, man, we got we to rain this deal out. He said, it's the big old storm coming. I said, well, I'm still going to practice. So sure enough, big old st storm comes. It was the right call. Uh, big old storm comes, rains it out. It's like, well, where are we going to? What do you think? Where do you want to run it? Where do you want to try to run the cars tour stock car series again? I said, let's let's go to South Boston. I said, uh, man, that's where I cut my teeth. South Boston is that one track where all of a sudden I got popped in the ass. I wiggled. I saved it. I moved up the track, and here went Jack Ingram by me. That's that one track that Tommy Houston and you know uh, Tommy Ellis. That's where that's where I learned to root and gouge. You know. You don't pass somebody on the outside. If you do, that's pretty rare. You, you pop them, you get underneath them. That's, that's where I learned to gouge and root and get going. Um, now, 
I didn't grow up racing like that in ASA because the bodies were plastic. But anyway, so I'm going to run South Boston, Virginia, October 7th, Saturday night, because it's that track that I believe it will stop my dreams. I'll quit dreaming, and that will be the end of asphalt racing for me. Um, I want to... I want to qualify in the top 20. I want to run in the top 10. I do not want to embarrass myself. So I want to thank Dale Jr. and I want to thank Blake Coke. They both, you know, uh, uh, Blake Coke owns Filter Time. The car is sponsored by Filter Time. Uh, but I want to thank Dale Jr. from the bottom of my heart. I love you, Jr. He, he put this together. But now I will say this. He called me back and he goes up. Uh, you're the man for the job. I said, really? I said, okay. So um, thank you, Marcus Richmond, for supplying the car. Thank you, Blake Coke, for filter time. And Dale Jr., you know I love you. And uh, so I guess this whole deal of me running this car's tour race started like this. I called Dale Jr. up. I need to get rid of a dream. <laughs> October 7th, Saturday night, South Boston. Come watch me get rid of a damn dream.